kind of the centerpiece of the uh, Funko display for uh, the, comic, uh, the, 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 the show. We have um, a lot of licenses that we're really excited about right now. We have, uh, finally, we have Harry Potter. We have Doctor Who. As you can see, we have kind of uh, a big range of stuff. We have uh, 21 Jump Street. We have this new Cinderella uh, figures that are coming out. And if you want to get closer to that pop, the uh, Gus Gus in Slipper pop, I think, is a pretty unique one over here. Yes. Um, it has, you know, just a tiny uh, mouse pop within the... the Glass slipper, so you know it's it's cool to see that we're uh, starting to play around with form and, and textures and material. I, I was gonna say the one that stood out to me was the uh, Hagrid uh, because he's so much bigger yeah. in the yeah. Harry Potter line, and yep. we'll see that later. But I, <laughs> I, I do applaud that you guys are kind of stretching it again, and I think it's important because you know people people pay attention to that, and, yeah. you know, and. and you, as much as they're, they're going to say, oh, I love this or I love that, there's always that one person or two people that are like, they're a little finicky about things, oh, yeah. and they got to have that perception, and you guys are answering <laughs> that, even to those people, so I think it's, it, you, again, applause for that, because well, yeah. it's, it's, it's awesome, I mean, you're not afraid to go outside the box, the Snuffleupagus, too, is we just need outstanding, the and Sesame Street is something that we're excited about, I mean, I didn't even, Futurama was news to me. I don't know, a couple of weeks before the show, so I was excited that we could actually show it, because I think the Robot Devil especially turned out really well. Yes. Um, but I mean, the whole line, I, I, the whole time that we've been here, I've just been talking to, uh, you know, fans of the uh, Pop and Funko, and a lot of times they'll say, um, you know, the, the quality has just improved over the years, and it's just gotten better and better, Absolutely. and I'm just excited because we, like I said, we're playing around with a lot of ideas and textures and colors, and um, to get it right and to kind of provide that experience is something that we're really proud of. I imagine of the minions sort of sell themselves. Yes. <laughs> I mean, they're just so expressive. Um, it's just easy to like them. Uh, I was also excited to see the unmasked Darth Vader as yeah. well. That's something that I didn't know was going to be Even with the scarring, it's yeah. awesome. It's very yeah. detailed. Yeah. So, um, how about but, cars? Car now, cars is, uh, to me, I have kids, so yeah. my kids, they love those movies, they love all the characters. Sure. But, I mean, really, where we look at pop vinyls, you know, you're used to seeing characters. So, you know, this is kind of outside the box too, where yeah. they're they're, you know, I guess people cars if you want yeah. to call them that. What made you guys go after this? Seeing that kind of, you know, that's a, maybe a little older license and yeah. Well, I know that this this license has been in the works for a little while. Um, we're all of our Disney and Pixar pops in the past have just done really well, and it's just a uh, something to round out the collection to sound, you know, to talk like a collector and using that lingo, but um, the uh, the cool thing about these, and I'm, I'm kind of excited about it because it breaks the pop form, you know, it, it right. ties into the aesthetic and the, the, you know, the cartoonish kind of idea, but it's, um, you know, it really, it kind of meets halfway with what the film was doing and what pop does. It's kind of like, um, if you've seen the Wreck-It Ralph pops, they're that way too, where it's, you know, a lot more about the character design uh, than it is about making it fit in the pop role. So, this is exciting to me too, because the more variety we have, like the Inside Out Pops kind of do this as well, and that's going to be a Pixar film uh, coming out later this year. They just play around with form. I mean, it's it's a similar uh, motif, but it's, you know, the, I'm not sure if you, I think this is Anger. Yeah. It's just like a solid little, like, mass, you know, it's, mm -hmm. it's something different, and um, we're just, you know, we're, like I said, we're just excited to be able to, to have so much variety and touch on so many licenses that people just love, so. I have a lot of friends that are into Doctor Who, so I, I think you need to mention we, it. We heard, uh, okay, Doctor Who is something we're so happy to have, just so that people can, ha like, we're just, you know, it's it's been in the works for a while, from what I understand, and um, it's just, it's just like, Harry, in the same vein as Harry Potter, where it's so big, and it's such a popular, beloved license that we're just happy to have around here. Um, and as you can see, it comes as a pop, but also as a pocket pop as well, those keychains. Nice. Um, so, yeah, I mean, <laughs> that was, that's was that been a hard secret to keep, just because people will just say, like, hey, is it coming out? And I so badly just want to say, like, yes, the wait is almost over. <laughs> like, it's for you. But, That's um, awesome. you know, it's, it is out there, and we're really, we're really proud about the response that we've seen so far. And Harry Potter was probably one that people oh were coming for, too, right? Absolutely. And it, it's just something that's so conducive to the pop form, I think. You know, they're all just, like, these really uh, recently added to the pop culture canon, like, these characters that are still fresh in a lot of people's minds. And I know people have been saying, like, why did you wait so long after all the films came out? But it's just been, you know, trying to figure out the licenses, trying to figure out, you know, all the logistics. Um, and if you get up close, you can see that these are actually the painted models. So these these are, like, what they're going to look like when they come out. But this is, these are the prototypes. We are so happy to show them that we wanted to have 
something, you know, and so, uh, you know, they're, they're going to be coming out in July, as the, as the tag says, but we're just, I mean, so excited. Yeah, Those are, nice. that, that's such a like, rich no, role in fantasy. And there's so, so many characters, characters you can do. Uh, exactly. I mean, that's, I think it's great. Yeah. And, and beyond, you know, anybody that questions why you would do it beyond uh, the, the realm of the film. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, they haven't been down in Florida lately or England or, you know. It's, it's, now it's a timeless thing. You know, Absolutely. It's, it's something people are going to love for generations. No doubt about it. Love this stuff. And I appreciate your time. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming.